Amen. Amen. Well, tonight we're not going to waste any time. Uh, let's have the hints this time. And they're going to sing for you. And we'll see what the Lord's got for us. Amen. You pray for them as they sing. mic on the piano, there's one behind it, and there's two right here. So, remember how y'all want to do it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I resemble that. <laughs> I guarantee. Amen. All right. And there's another one right here. Oh, I thought y'all wanted me to sing with you. <laughs> Amen. All right. There's plenty of chords, ladies, if you need.
enjoyed that good singing today. Amen. Amen. I like old fashioned singing. Yes, sir. And apparently the Lord does too. Yes. And uh, it wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit if that thing just got out of the box. Amen. I was thinking about while they were singing. I've heard people say this, and bless their hearts, I know what they mean. And they say, when I get to heaven, you know, I'm going to go deer hunting, or I get to heaven, right. I can't wait to go fishing. When you get to heaven, you ain't going to be nothing but worship the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When right. you really, when we ever really get the, the big picture of that thing, right. all we're going to do is worship yes, Him and, yeah. Him yeah. and yeah. praise Him and sing to Him for all of eternity. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate the hands. We met them several years ago in Texas. And I appreciate the Lord working it out so they can come and be with us. Now, uh, tonight, apparently Brother Caleb is going to say something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I appreciate yeah. folks that take care of stuff. It gets everything worked out. Appreciate that. Uh, listen, this ain't a one-man show. Man, these people are doing stuff all the time that you don't, that you don't see. I don't see to keep everything running smooth. And I want to say thank God for it. Uh, they keep everything took care of. Yeah. Uh, it's right of folks. And, uh, but uh, tonight, it's good to have our friend, Brother Eric Hill. Amen. And uh, he's going to come preach to us. He's a stranger Amen. around here. He was with us just several weeks ago. And uh, we're glad he's here tonight. Yeah. And so I've told Brother Hill to make himself at home. Yes, sir. Preach you want to. As long as you want to. As loud as you want yeah. to. Or yeah. whatever you want to. Yeah. Right. And uh, so we're glad he's here. We appreciate yeah. it. You pray for God's man. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Brother Hill. Good to see you, my friend. Y'all, we will all figure out this microphone. You take your Bibles, turn to Matthew, chapter 5. Matthew, chapter 5. Appreciate the singing. Amen. I think they sing about every favorite song I got. Yeah. And I can't wait tomorrow night. I, I love that part. Uh, I got saved, and I said a little bit of this last time I was here. I didn't grow up in church. I don't know nothing about I, I still, I've been saved 21 years. I ain't figured out much yet. Yeah. I don't know much. Yeah. But all I know is one day I, 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 I was lost, and, 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 and God saved me. And I didn't understand it all. I never get going to church and, and watching people get happy and thinking they were strange. Cause, but all of a sudden, we were sitting in the service one night, Brother Rick, yeah. and it dawned on me I was sober. Yeah. 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 And it dawned on me I hadn't cried myself to sleep in yeah. about six months. Yeah. And it dawned on me I was happy. Yeah. And before I knew it, I got a little excited. Yeah. And I just ain't never lost it. Yeah. 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 Let me say this. Don't ever, you listen to me tonight before we preach, don't ever look at somebody's glory. Yeah. Amen. Without understanding their story. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. yeah. So there's a verse in your Bible that everybody quotes for God so loved the world. Yeah. Amen. Notice it didn't say for God loved. Yeah. Right. It said so. Yeah. Why does it say so? You had to go to Psalms. Right. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. so. Amen. Yeah. That yeah. so is your testimony. Right. Amen. Yeah. Some of you God saved out of church. Some of you God saved. You, yeah. This is all you've ever known. Yeah. And some yeah. of you uh, might be like me. Yeah. When God found you, He found you in the gutter. Yeah. But He didn't leave me yeah. away. Yeah. 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 Amen. I won't be long tonight, but I want to share my heart with you. Uh, Matthew 5 uh, and verse 13. I'm going to read one verse and then share my heart. The Bible said, Matthew 5, 13, Ye are the salt of the earth. Amen. Yeah. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Amen. It is fit for good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be tried. Under the foot of man, our Heavenly Father tonight, take your verse and your Bible and speak to us, and we'll thank you for it. And God, if one person came in here tonight, God, is out of fellowship with you, I pray tonight be tonight they were sober. 
God, I pray if one person came in here tonight, God, they would not know they're saved. Would they not leave in the same condition? And we'll love you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So the church I pastor, I have a bunch of teenagers, and they're always, Brother Rick, trying to teach me lingo. Uh -huh. Cause they'll take, cause here's one thing: they'll take a word that don't mean nothing like what it's supposed to mean right. and make it mean something totally different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I was growing up, a ratchet was something you fixed your car with. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll tell me all this stuff, and they'll send me these texts with all these little emojis and all this, uh, all these little uh, slangs. And my mom will try to do it; she'll never know what she's saying. Yeah. Yeah. I need an interpreter for that business. Yeah. But I heard my teenagers one time. They got to having a conversation about uh, somebody being salty, and I asked my daughter afterwards, I said, what the world does that mean? And she got to explaining it all, and I just smiled. Well, I've studied this, and so here's what I'm going to preach tonight. We need to be salty. Right. We need to be salty. I want to show you three things about the salt tonight. And why God picked salt, I'm going to show you three things about salt. We're going to call it an evening. Number one. The first thing I want you to see about the salt is I want you to see the task that it fulfills. The Amen. task it fulfills. Right. See, salt, has, it has many other functions other than this one, but the one main thing that put salt on the map right. was the fact that if you wanted to preserve something, right. you could put salt on it. Yeah. Right. If you, you say, why does it do that? Because if you put salt on it, it should stop decay. Right. It should stop Amen. things getting worse. Right. When you put salt on things, it ought to make it decay a little less. And we look at this world and we say, I can't believe how bad it's gotten in four years. Or I can't believe how bad it's just gotten in the last year and a half. Why in the world does it seem like this world is decaying so quickly? It's because ain't nobody being the salt. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Because real soul will stop decay. Right. Right. Instead of everybody wanting to change in the White House, honey, where we really need to change is in the church house. Right. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. things that we used to be mortified over yeah. are now okay. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Now, Brother Rick, if you preach against anything, you mean. Yeah. 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 Right. Ask my kids if I'm mean, they'll give you the answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I figured you're going to be mean to them. My daughter said all the time, she said, Dad, what you preaching? And I'll tell her, she said, No, you need to preach one of the means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if it's a means message, it's probably my daughter, right? Yeah. <laughs> she just wants everybody to get fussed at because she's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, preach, my brother. Would you listen to me tonight? Okay. The salt yeah. is supposed to stop. The decay, you said, what decay are you talking about? See, there's this pollution in our world called sin. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, we've gotten a day and an hour when instead of being opposed to sin, yeah. we're doing everything we can to make it okay. Right. Yeah. 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 You're 50 right. years ago, they did a study on the one Bible verse that all Americans could quote. Does anybody want to guess what it was? John 3.16. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Right. Right. Amen. They did the same study in the last 10 years. It was no longer John 3, 16. It was judge not. Yeah. 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 Lest you be judged. By the way, they don't even quote half the verse. Yeah. Right. 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 They might want to finish quoting it before they think they know it. Yeah. Judge not lest you be judged. But when you judge, make your judgments righteous. But we're living in a generation that all they want to do is whatever they feel like. Right. And if you tell them that it's wrong, then you're the one that's wrong. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got bad news for you tonight. You're going to have a tough let me just say, you, know, talk, you will not be biblically correct and politically correct. Right. Exactly right. right. You'll have to decide which one means the most to you. Yeah. Amen. Can I tell you, sin will still kill people. Sure. Amen. Yeah. We need the church in this day and hour to stand up. And I ain't saying it be mean. Right. Let me say this. I'm a, you can throw a rock and hit the meth capital of South Carolina. There's a little town called Waterloo. They got more... Meth per capita in any place in South Carolina. I pastor two minutes from there. Yeah. I get them in all the time. They'll come in and look, they'll, they'll be rough and they'll look at me and they'll just, they don't even know what to think. We'll get to preaching 
And God will save them. Yeah. And when they come in, they don't look like we look. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. By the way, when I got saved, I didn't look like this either. Right. Yeah. No. I was being honest with you. I've been pastor. I just have learned to wear a coat in the last year because I had to hang out with people like him. And I figured they look good. I might as well look good too. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but you listen to me. People... By the way, that whole change of business, that's God's business. You yeah. ain't got to do that anyway. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. right. right. let me give you a tip. Whatever you do to get somebody in church, you'll have to do to keep them in church. Right. But yeah. if you'll just let God be the one to get them here, yeah. and God be yeah. the one to save yeah. them, yeah. then God will be... Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Right. You just want to let God be God. He's real good at being God. Yeah. 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 But here's what we shouldn't be doing. I ain't saying we can prevent the decay, but let me say what we shouldn't be doing. We shouldn't be making it go faster. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. You're exactly right. right. Yeah. We've got to learn in this day and hour that we ought to be different. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Can I just, how many of you saved and you know it? Amen. Amen. Yeah. I got news for you tonight. You're weird. Yeah. 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 You say, I can't believe that preacher just told me I'm weird. Yeah. Well, see, I didn't tell you you're weird. The Bible told you you're weird. Right. Yeah. You say, Bible didn't say I'm weird. Sure is. You got to go to First Peter. Yeah. The Bible said you are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, generation a peculiar people. You know what the word peculiar means? It's a nice way for saying you're weird. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can I tell you this? God never called you to fit in. He only called you to stand out. Right. Amen. Right. But if we're not careful, we get real interested in fitting in with this world. Yeah. And we're not called to fit in this world. Amen. In the last days, the world has gotten real churchy. Yeah. While the church has gotten real world. Yeah. 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 And we need to be the reason that the decay stops. Amen. 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 You say, well, preacher, everybody's going to sin. They all sin. They're going to sin. The Bible says they're going to sin. But let me say this. They all feel bad if they're sitting around you. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you remember being lost? And when you were lost, can I just be honest? They were still. You had family members. No matter how bad you were, you weren't about to cuss in front of grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody yeah. understand yeah. where I come yeah. from? Yeah. 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 Old school. I mean, when, whatever grandma said, it, it bothered you even when you were lost. Right. Yeah. There were some things you just didn't do. Yeah. 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 I'd have been scared if I'd have said a bad word for my grandma. She'd have beat me. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, she wasn't saved. Yeah. And still scared. That might have been why I was so scared. Yeah. <laughs> there used to be a level of respect for that word, fear of the Lord. Yeah. It ain't in America no more. You might right. You're exactly right. Yeah. Here's the scary part. There's a whole lot of churches that ain't in no more either. Right. Yeah. 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 You say, well, how do I know I'm doing right? And that's the question. Does your actions change depending on who you're around? Yeah. 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 Hunker down. If you got if you got church friends and other friends, you probably don't need the other friends. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Somebody asked me at church first, so Brother Rick, they said, I just ha I need you to pray about me getting rid of my friends. I said, Well, I need you to pray about getting closer to the Lord. They said, well, I'm trying to, that's why I'm going to get rid of my friends. I said, no, 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 don't even worry about your friends. Yeah. Oh, you mean I keep my friends? I said, no, here's the deal. You get full of Jesus, yeah. honey, you won't have to get rid of your friends. Yeah. Our goodness, they will get rid of you. Yeah. 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 You're exactly right. My crowd, I didn't have to worry about getting around them. When they was trying to get high and I was preaching to them, they didn't want to deal with me no more. I still figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's hard to catch a boys while the boy that was just getting high with each other going, <laughs> Amazing Grace. Yeah. Yeah. And they go, what? Yeah. What happened to you? Yeah. They said, oh, yeah. oh, we've seen like you before. You'll be back. Yeah. 21 years, I still ain't been back. Yeah. 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 It don't amaze yeah. me that I got saved, Brother Rick. It amazed me that after 21 years of putting up with me, I'm still saved. Yeah. 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 But you know, the first thing we need to understand is that there's a task that's fulfilled. Salt is called to stop the decay. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What areas of your life is causing more decay than it's stopping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's number two. Good. Not only do we see the task is filled, number two, we see the taste 
it improves. Yeah. yeah. How many times have you ever heard this phrase? This tastes good. It just needs a little salt. A little salt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you what'll make this world taste a whole lot better, brother fish? Yeah. Just a little more salt. Yeah. yeah. You ever been having a bad day and one of your fellow brothers or sisters calls you or sends you a text just to let you know yeah. they're thinking about you and all of a sudden what was a bad day becomes a little bit better? Yeah. 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 All yeah. Was, it all improved. There was a lady, I don't know if I told the story here last time, but there was a lady, one of my favorites. There was a lady, she walked up to a preacher and she said, Preacher, she said, I'm having a nervous breakdown. I need to talk to you right now. I'm having a nervous breakdown. She said, he said, honey, I'll help you, but I but but I ain't got time right now. She said, Preacher, you understand I'm having a nervous breakdown. He said, well, can you do me a favor and then I'll talk to you? Can you run to the burn unit and go deliver these uh, teddy bears to the burn unit? She said, yes. Then can you talk to me about my breakdown? He said, yes, sure will. She went and delivered it. She called. She said, preacher, I'm about to have my breakdown. He said, well, I need to take uh, cookies to Miss Jones. Can you bake them and take them? And she ran them. And, and, he, and she called. She said, preacher, I really got to break down. He said, well, one more thing. You can talk about your breakdown. He said, I need you to go to the children's uh, orphan home over here. And go deliver the Christmas presents for the church. Go right. help them. Once you do that, call me and we'll talk about your bread. Two weeks went by. She didn't hear. The preacher didn't hear. Right. She'd come into church. She'd wave at the preacher and leave. He thought, oh no, I done made this woman mad. She'd never come back to church because I didn't have time for a breakdown. He ran into her in the grocery store. She had a big old buggy full of teddy bears, cookies, and all kinds of stuff. And she looked at the preacher preacher said, honey, what happened? Are you okay? She said, yeah, preacher, I'm fine. She said, I've been so busy baking cookies. I've been so busy visiting. I've been so busy doing this and that, preacher. She said, I'll be honest with you. I got so busy, I just had to put my break down on hold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You would know how to get over some anxiety and some problems. Find somebody who's in worse shape than you yeah. and improve their life. And before you know it, your life will be improved. Yeah. Yeah. I'm real dangerous. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Tonight. I'm ask you a question. Who can you point to whose life is better? Because you're in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whose life have you improved? Right. Yeah. You say, well, preacher, I don't know if I've ever improved anybody's life. Then you might not be salt. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because if you put salt on something, it makes it taste better. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know the other thing you can do? You can tell when something's got a lot of salt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how some people can be around some people and never change? And never know anything's different? Because there ain't much salt to them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. By the way, I'll give you this for free. Uh, you know the only time you can't use salt? Is when it gets hard. Yeah. 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 You know why God can't use a lot of us sometimes? Because life happens. Yeah. Yeah. It gets hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a time where we was on fire doing everything we can. Things didn't happen the way we thought they ought to. We felt like the Lord or the church or the preacher or somebody let us down. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. You know why I, you know why I believe the Lord let me drive up this road? Because when our salt gets hard at the house, my wife will take a knife. Yeah. And she'll start stabbing that joker. Yeah. I thought, I guarantee you the salt don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> you on the salt's naughty list. Yeah. Yeah. I said, what are you doing? She said, if I don't stab it and break it up, I'll have to throw it away. Yeah. Yeah. I drove three and a half hours for the next four nights with this intention this week. To break up some hard hearts. Yeah. Amen. 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 To make sure that you're in the spot that God can use you Amen. and God can use me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because what I never want to happen in my life, Brother Rick, is God say, You might as well just go, We can't use Him. Yeah. 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 I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't ever want to get on the shelf. Yeah. I can't be used. No. Yeah. My right. prayer all day was, Lord, if you got to poke me, you poke me to make sure. Hallelujah. Yeah. To make sure I can be used. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let me ask you a question. What is it that made you hard? Yeah. Yeah. What is it while I'm talking, the Lord's already been talking to you and he's going. Yeah. 
and you go and I was just preaching with hush because this ain't no fun. Right. Yeah. yeah. Let me say this, that salt has one purpose. For food, is to make it taste better. Yeah. yeah. And as long as it's hard, it will never do its job. Right. right. Yeah. And how many churches will never be the church they're supposed to be because the people done got hard? Yeah. How many ministries have never got started yeah. because the person God called to do the ministry got hard? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Be a good night tonight to let God soften you up. Amen. 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 Not only do we see the task it fulfills and the taste it improves, but it's my favorite. Number three, we see the thirst that it gives. Yeah. Yeah. You know one thing that something being salty will do? Yeah. It'll make you real thirsty. Yeah. You know what a good Christian ought to do and ought to make you want to be a better Christian? Right. Yeah. You've been around and talking to anybody and you were the one you were talking to them. You felt like, man, I don't even know if I know Jesus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They got so much God dripping off of them, you go, if I just had an ounce yeah. of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a question. Does anybody feel like me around you? Right. Do you make people thirsty? Yeah. Amen. Can they even tell there's any salt there? Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah. So I got to tell them myself, okay? I got this message ready. Can't believe I'm going to admit this, but it'll be all right. He <laughs> I was getting in the car at the hotel. I had my daughter go get me, and I'll explain these in a minute when I finish, but I had my daughter go to the subway and go get me a bunch of packs. I used to tell her to go get them, then she'd get them when I'd ask her. I said, I can't preach a message when you're stealing something. So I said, go ask the girl so boy, can you have a hundred salt packets? Yeah. You know what the girl did? The girl grabbed her a bunch of salt packets and said, by the way, if you're going to have salt, you're going to have pepper. Yeah. You know the problem with a lot of places? Yeah. We're trying to mix salt and pepper. Yeah. Right. You know what pepper do? It'll add a spice that the salt don't need sometimes. Right. Yeah. Like some of us got some pepper we need to get out of our life. Yeah. 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 So we get yeah. salt we need to be. Yeah. Right. But I was sitting there and I was walking out of the hotel and a guy stopped me. He said, Man, y'all look sharp tonight. I thought, man, I know I do. What you talking about? <laughs> I said, Man, yeah. I said, I said, yeah, we're going to church. And I got in the car. And Lord said, Um, where are you going to church at? And I, and I said, Lord, you know where I'm going to church. He said, Yeah, but he don't. Yeah. Right, amen. Yeah. Lord said, You fit to go preach about salt. And you flat just walks by somebody because you was too busy and yeah. hurt. Right. right. Yeah. I said, Wait. <laughs> Wait. So I hope y'all get something tonight because the Lord done got me on the whole ride over here. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because how many times in life do we have opportunities to be right. salt? Yeah. Amen. But yeah. we don't think we have the time. Yeah. Right. How many times you said, I wish I had more time to talk to this person? Yeah. Right. Can I just be blunt tonight? We always make time for the things we want to do. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know, another thing about the salt, as long as it stays in this package, it's never going to do any good. Right. If yeah. God saved you and put something in you, yeah. you might as well let it out of you. Right. right. Yeah. Man. I'll tell you this and I'm finished. Y'all know the story of Lot. How him and his wife was in the city. Yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah, and God told them to leave. Yeah. When they left, the Bible said that she looked back at what she turned into. She turned into a pillar of salt. I want to ask you a question now. I wonder if she'd have turned into a pillar of salt if she would have been a pillar of the salt while she lived there. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. That's yeah. Good. God turned her into what she should have been the whole time. Right. Amen. Amen. That's good. <laughs> yeah. The Lord turned her into exactly what she should have been. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. yeah. I brought, and I want you to get one of these when you leave tonight. I had my daughter go get about 100 of them. You say, why do I need a salt packet? Because here's what I want you to do. I've got one in my car at the house. I want you to put this in your car. You say, why? Because I need you to ask yourself every morning, yeah. am I being the salt I need to be? Yeah. When you go to the restaurant tonight, you need to ask yourself, are you being the salt you need to be? Yeah. 
I'll be honest with you, some of us probably need about 15 salt packets in about 15 places at our house. Somebody say amen. Probably do good to put a salt packet over the TV. Some of you would do real good to put a salt packet over the camera on your phone. Yeah. It may change what you scroll tonight. Yeah. It yeah. may change what I don't I don't have no social media. My wife tells me about all that, so I don't even know nothing about none of that. But it might change how you act on some of that. Yeah. 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 Because see, there's not a Facebook version of you and a Christian version of you. Yeah. There's just you. Yeah. Right. Learn that there's just you. Yeah. But tonight, will you be the salt? Amen. Tonight. Did this at our church with a whole with a whole tub of salt. I wasn't about to mess his carpet up because I don't know who his cleaning lady is, and I wasn't about to mess with her. Amen. Yeah. But I did this at our church, and I put this stuff in my hair. And here's what I noticed: for the next two, like for two weeks after preaching this message, every time I'd brush my hair, every time I'd do anything, they'd be salt all over the car. Yeah. <laughs> My wife would look at me and she'd go, well, I know where you just sat in the house. <laughs> I said, how do you know? She said, because you keep leaving that salt tray. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. What you leaving behind? Yeah. Can somebody know you've been there? Yeah. When you walk, does something flake off of you a little bit? When you walk, do you leave a little something? Yeah. yeah. Or are you just like everybody else? Right. Yeah. Are we the salt? Because here's the bottom line, I can rock salt on this pack. I can seal it as a salt pack. But if it ain't got nothing on the inside, yeah. it ain't nothing but a package. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. It's my fear that in some churches, we've learned to dress up people as Christians right. Right. without ever making sure that they are one first. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Let me ask you a question tonight. Are you going to be salty? And I don't mean the teenage version. Right. Don't go out there and go out and start being mean to people out the church and go, the preacher said, no, the preacher said be the Bible saw, amen? Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all was looking going, I need to ask one of these teenagers after church what the real meaning is. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't even ask. There's some stuff. Chances are if a 16 to 18 year old created it, you don't need to know it anyway. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Go right there. Yeah. Tonight. I don't know if you got somebody playing the piano, but tonight, here's my question to you. Will you be salty? Yeah. Let's make a commitment tonight that the rest of this week we're going to ask God to poke on us. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And make sure we can be used. We're going to ask God to turn us inside out to make the best salt He can make out of us. Because there's a world that needs improvement. Yeah. There's a, people need to be around us and know Something's different in us. Yeah, yeah. right. right. Yeah. Yeah. We do a food bank at church, Brother Rick, and I'm done once a month. We were up there yesterday, and I had a guy come in. Used to go to church with us rough, rough. Came into church yesterday. We came into the food bank. was telling me all about his family. He said, man, I got all kind of issues. He said, I need some help with some stuff, and we give him some food, some clothes. And I said, man, we have a church tonight. Why don't you come back? He said, well, I could use help as well. I said, well, you come back tonight. I said, and I'll talk to you about all that after church. I said, I got a couple guys. My mind can help you, man. You come to church. You come to church. Real insecure. He looked at my wife. He said, my hair's all messed up. He said, my life's struggling. He said, I might wear a hat. He said, I don't even know how to walk in church. I said, well, you walk in anyway, son. Amen. He said, in the very back row, I got preaching. Yeah, check this. I preached on give, and it shall be given unto you. Yeah. Great evangelistic message. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, all right, no. I get to the invitation. The first one at the altar. Yeah. Amen. One of my guys went over and led him to the Lord last night. Amen. Amen. Great. And he looked at me. And he said, I'm so glad you did what you did this morning. Because it got me here tonight. Yeah. I wish I could tell you that all the church work was just during services. But church, it ain't. No, right, no. Right. What you do outside the doors a lot of times will determine what happens inside these doors. Right. 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 Sometimes the church needs to leave the building yeah. Yeah. and be the church yeah. and be the soul. Because here's what will happen. A boy got saved this day. I'd have had more people want to help the ministers of church 
because they seem to be salty works. Yeah. Amen. 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 And God called you to be the salt. Yeah. He said, You are the salt of the earth. And then the very next phrase is real sad. He said, But if you lose your savior, yeah. Yeah. he said, We're going to have an unsalty world. Yeah. You're right. You know why this world's falling apart? I know the Bible says it's going to, and I understand all that prophetically, but let me tell you why I think it's happening at a warp speed. It's because the church has lost its savior. Yeah. 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 Be a good week for Landmark Baptist and this preacher to get your salt back. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all stand up with me. Father, we love you tonight. Nobody's looking around. I want to know tonight who can get out of your seat, who can come to this altar, and who can say, God, I want you to poke on every area of my heart. Lord, I don't want to dare go home being hard. God, I don't want to dare go home tonight without having you use me. God, I don't want to dare go home tonight without being the salt you want me to be. If that's you right now, I want you to get out of your seat, come to this altar and say, God, would you help me to be the salt you want me to be? Father, tonight we're grateful for the message. And Father, we're living in a society that's decaying. And Lord, I know uh, it's got to go that way. We can't stop the decay. But Lord, we sure can slow it down by being the salt that you've called us to be. Lord, help us to have a testimony in a lost and dying world. May others see something different in us. Lord, may we be the witness we're supposed to be. May we be the testimony that we're supposed to be. Lord, may we uh, be salt in an unsalted world. Lord, I pray that when others are around us, it makes them thirsty for the things of God. Lord, touch your people and help us in Jesus' name.
if your lifestyle doesn't match. You're right. And tonight, there is no doubt. Time is running out. There is no doubt in my mind. And the Lord wants to save folks. And the Lord wants to make a difference in people's lives. And if He does so, He's going to use you and me to do it. Amen. Tonight, we need to go out of here being the salt. Try to reach somebody. Try to make a difference for somebody. Try to make somebody thirsty. Amen. With your life. Invite everybody that's can. Come and get in. Tremendous message. Appreciate that. Amen. Great first night. Amen. Great first night. I tell my young preachers all the time, I said, there's a method to revival. And I said, the first night I go in, I put the plow on the ground and plow it up. Yeah. Everywhere I go, the first night. I generally do not go in and, and just preach on the love of God or the blood of Jesus. I go in and plow it up first night. You say, why? Because it's important that we get our hearts in the position so God can meet with us and do something for us. Amen. Yeah. And uh, so it was phenomenal. Man, appreciate that, brother. Looking forward to tomorrow night. Great singing, great preaching tonight. If you're glad you're in church, say amen. 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 All right, let's all stand. We'll be dismissed in a word of prayer. And, all right, let's bow our heads. We'll go to the Lord. Brother Robbie, if you will, please dismiss. Lord, we love you. Thank you for another opportunity to be here tonight. Lord, pray the Lord just be with us for uh, the rest of the world. The Bible week, Lord, and just help us to uh, not lose our saving the Lord and help us to be salty, Lord, in this world. Uh, we know we're getting close to this uh, to the end, Lord, and just want to remain faithful, Lord. Just uh, help us keep on keeping on, Lord. And just, we all love you. Thank you for all that you do. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.